Hey loves, bonjour, ma buhai, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see on the title, we are doing a Cartier unboxing and I am so excited and can wait to share what this item is. So keep on watching. Hey loves, welcome back! So, I was thinking of how to process this video and I think I'm going to put them in different sections. There will be the unboxing, even though I already unboxed the item, I'm going to show you as well with what it comes with the purchase and then there will be the backstory of why I have opted for this specific item and then the price, then the quality and then if I recommend this item or not. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what item it is. So for those of you who have some eagle eye, I think you already see it. Yep, I'm actually wearing it and it's the Cartier d'Amour necklace and the one that I got is in yellow gold and in the size extra small and I have it in combo with my Tiffany & Co bean necklace so there you have it guys I'm just going to be yeah show it to you like that I'm also going to be putting a bureau so you can see the necklace uh, in more in-depth so yeah I have opted for this one because I wanted something that will be a good combination with my Tiffany & Co's bean necklace without over empowering it um, yeah why I say that because I have tried the small version of the Cartier d'Amour necklace and even though I know that the diamond is bigger than the extra small it's just too eye-catching and I didn't want the focus to be on the Cartier necklace I really want the focus to be on the bean one because the bean one has a very sentimental value for me so the small one the focus is on the Cartier one so I was like no I don't want something like that so when I tried the extra small it was like love at first sight it really goes well with the combo it's just you know that pop of spark uh, with the um, tiffany necklace because as you can see the tiffany chain doesn't doesn't have that spark unlike the um the cartier one it sparkles more with the light so that's what i wanted uh, and then secondly the small diamond is just you know a bit of uh, femininity and daintiness added to it and also the chain of the extra small goes well with the chain of my Tiffany and Co bean because the small one it the chain is more visible and yeah I didn't want something like that I really want something that goes well very cohesive and that's why I opted for the extra small and to be honest this one is actually a Christmas gift from last year and this year yep you heard it well last year and this year because last year I have received a Cartier voucher from my husband and then this year was the uh, second part of the voucher and then we went to the uh, Cartier boutique and I have tried I actually tried this one I have tried the small one like I have mentioned both in yellow gold because I also been able to try the rose gold but the rose gold didn't you know go well with the yellow gold bean necklace so I was like okay um, it's just going to be a yellow gold not rose gold and I also tried the Cartier de Moore bracelet but it was like you know with the bracelet they currently have in here it's I don't know it's meh so I was like you know what it's better this combo because it has some sentimental meaning behind the like i've mentioned the bean which is the symbol for my son because it took us quite a while to have him and then we finally you know have him so that's why the the symbol of this and then the symbol of this quartier it's you know that sparkle that will always be guiding the the bean 
So yeah, that's the story behind the reason why I got this. And then for the um, unboxing, like I've mentioned, I have already unboxed it. I'm going to put a, the card just right there as well as the link down below. I just did a quick short of the item. I'm just going to show you how it arrived. It was actually, it actually arrived in this, you know, burgundy red Cartier paper bag and then inside it was since it's for a gift and they always do it like that it was wrapped in this beautiful white paper with you know stamped uh, as always wax seal and then I have inside of course it arrived in this red box that when you open it it opens like that and then opens like so and the necklace was in here um and with this i also received travel pouch for necklace and then my sa also gave me a travel pouch for bracelet just in case <laughs> i have this and a travel pouch for a ring because I have the Trinity here. And then in here I have the a certificate. So yeah, so that's what it came with. I didn't ask for a cleaner because I already got them. I think I have two or three at home already. So I have quite a stock and then since it was Christmas and when we went there we went with my hubby and my son my SA saw my son playing with a wood toy and she offered a gift to him so we were very thankful for that so yeah we have received that as well and then for the price this Cartier d'Amour necklace in the size extra small in the color yellow gold currently retails for 1010 euros in Belgium but just to let you know I did some research and in different countries here in Europe the prices change so this one in the Netherlands it's the same price 1010 euros and then in France this one actually cost 1000 euros so 10 euros less than in belgium but be aware in luxembourg this cost 40 euros less so under the 1000 mark so yeah but at the end of the day we've purchased this in brussels because yeah my husband bought a voucher last year so we have to use that voucher at the same shop um, this year as well and anyways I have a good um, connection with my essay so yeah so that's the current price tag because it can um, have an increase by 2024 since Cartier I think once or two price increase per year quality I can say no more that's why I have opted for a fine jewelry because I know that fine jewelry will last long and the value also will definitely increase because I know jewelry fine jewelry you can find it anywhere if you have of course a good jeweler but for the price increase the value of it I know that yeah you I'm in a certain way I know I'm paying the name also behind it but I know that in the long run it will be a plus for me because in the future I know that the person who will be receiving my jewelries will have a better return value not just because it's fine jewelry but because also there's a name behind it the Cartier the Tiffany so I think that quality wise it's always better to if you want to invest your money somewhere in a certain way to invest them in fine jewelry because you know that the value will always be 
there and it will just be increasing and as for the quality of you know by wearing it i have been wearing it like i've mentioned to you for 24 hours because i tend to wear it as my bean uh, necklace a uh, daily uh, necklace that's why i also opted for this size so that it won't be you know bothering and to be honest it's been more than 24 hours i haven't felt it that it's there like the bean necklace it's just you know as if i wasn't wearing any necklace at all and i've already showered with it and everything and yeah um nothing changed there's no tangling in a certain way yeah sometimes when i wake up in the morning i find that it's like this on the side which is also pretty see but I just have to detangle it but it doesn't really bothers me I will let you know in a few months time how it goes so yeah if you want that kind of video please let me know in the comment section down below I'll be happy to do that and also if you want me to do a specific you know uh, review on the bean necklace as well I'll be I can do that too and yeah, so for the quality, I have nothing to say. It's my third Cartier, as you can see. I have the bracelet here, the Trinity one. I have the ring as well. So yeah, very satisfied with the brand and also with the service itself at the boutique. Not just in Brussels, I've already been to a different Cartier in the Netherlands, in Barcelona, in the Philippines. Because every time I go to a Cartier, I my bracelet i don't like the color anymore i just go there pop in and ask them to change and the service was always great so yeah so finally do i recommend this item or not i think i can't add any more positive in my video than yes of course if i can just advise you one thing is that if you have a boutique near you always go at the boutique first to try them like I did, as you can see, I've tried the extra small and the small and also the bracelet. And then at the end of the day, it's the extra small that I went to and the necklace version. Um, because I think if you will be able to try it, it's always better to try so that you're sure if you have a boutique near you as well, of course. If not, yeah, browse, check online video or blogs and so on. Because I think it's important, especially with the price tag behind it. It's not something that you just do it like that. It's you have to take into consideration the price and then of course you don't want to have any more hustle afterwards so yeah so all in all a very positive experience from choosing it having the moment at the boutique and then being able to wear it with my bean necklace so there you go guys that was my video of the Cartier Demour necklace. I try to do it fast, but it's not easy, especially when you have to talk something that you deeply love and happy with. I think it's not feasible to do it in very, very short time, but I still try. Okay. I hope that it has entertained you in a certain way and it has helped you also decide if it's this kind of jewelry that you've been eyeing or not. If that's the case, please consider giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you're also enjoying the content of my channel but haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my video. So until then, I hope that you all guys to stay, stay safe and see you on my next video. Take care. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.